took the Rockets to the NBA Championship Series one season, losing in six to the Boston Celtics. The opening tap goes to the Lakers. Try to swing it. Campbell. There's your X Factor right there. If the lights are on for Elvin Campbell, he can be monstrous down on the low body. Sabalos lost it down the lane, recovered, and Campbell has four points. Sabalos follows up, finds Peeler inside. The Lakers have scored three inside hoops already. Inside, and the Lakers swing. Peeler. Divox for the hook. Lottie Divox. Now they double themselves, and the Sonics got to start moving the ball and moving bodies around. Sean Kemp with the two. So this one's done. Peeler lost it. Here comes Peyton. Tied up by Van Exel. Peyton looking for the ball, didn't get it. Sabalos with the lob. And a nice pass from Campbell to Roddy Devox. Getting the high percentage shot. There's a big rejection by Eldon Campbell. Let's go back down to the other end and watch the Lakers move the ball. Pass the ball and you will get open in the Eldon Campbell who's off to a good start showing some unselfish play drops it in for Vladi Divac who's actually one of the best passing centers out of the post first personal foul of the game Divac's going to take it and hit it Frank all right Hannah you see how the Lakers have been tough inside meanwhile Gary Payton pops from outside Irvin Johnson with the rebound here comes McMillan Shrimp wide open for three Peyton looking for room to drive and draws the foul down the lane from Van Exel. Full on this team. Yeah, he has. Uh, you know, and I think he relishes being the guy to make it happen. Cedric Sabalos. Sabalos for three points. Him from the floor here Thursday night. And their small forward was a minus for them in game one. Nate McMillan. Well, the Lakers brought their shooting eye with them to the arena today. And Kemp comes away with it. Here come the Sonics on the move. McMillan looking for two in a row. And got two in a row. 4-10 to play here in the first. Campbell. And Campbell doing some mean work on the inside for the Lakers early on. That's what happened in this John Kemp, Eldon Campbell matchup. And Kemp is a great leaper, but you got a guy that's got an elevator of his own in Eldon Campbell. Shrimp fouled as he came across the lane. He won percent from the three. Campbell. Campbell again on the inside. Eldon Campbell has eight. Corner. And Kemp comes away with it. Gill with a nice pass to Peyton. And rejected by Jones. Stripped from behind. Back come the Lakers. Van Exel for Sabalos. Tried the reverse and he drew the foul from Perkins this game and it's really helped the Lakers on the baseline Kemp and Kemp will go to the line oh we forced mistakes the Lakers have yet to make those kinds of mistakes early Sabalo another three for Cedric Sabalo one for ten shooting and he's done it early hey, hey, hey. Kemp spins on the baseline <laughs> Lakers by five we'll give him going a steal by Kemp the lane off. Didn't fall for him. Here come the Lakers. Four on three on two. Van Exel to Jones. And Perkins got a piece of it. Askew. Peyton. Kill. And up ahead for Van Exel. Now he's trying to rest on offense. And find out whether he's able to do it. Kim on the follow. Three. And he hit it. Building. As shooters are first time in, they had a real tough time. Perkins out of the corner, doesn't fall, and what a first period for the Los Angeles Lakers. 
Keldon Campbell with eight, Cedric Sabalos with seven. The Lakers, blown out in game one, have rebounded in style. They lead it 30 to 22. We're coming back to the Tacoma Dome for the second period as the NBA on NBC continues in just a moment. 65% from the field in the first quarter to 33 for Seattle. Kendall Gill. Another quick block by Eddie Jones. So he's showing you that uh, he wasn't feeling well in game one. That exit. Kicked it back out to no one. Here's Peyton. On the drive here at Peyton. Combined for just 22 and they have uh, 26. So they've already outdone themselves. And Sam Bowie gets a block and adds to that. 32-24, Lakers. As cute. Rejected by Bowie. Bowie and Eldon Campbell, but also along in Eddie Jones. So follows another three. three points. with the rebound. Seattle back in a hurry. Kendall Gill on the drive. Went right around Eddie Jones. Kendall with the scoop. And Kemp with another board. And brings it back. Leads for Askew. Askew. Sean Kemp with the follow. Court play and a slashing driving team. Eddie Jones reaching. And it's a better reach by Kendall Gill to get the hoop. Vincent Askew on the drive, and the guy that's bringing him back, John Kemp over the top. Van Exel for three. The Lakers are now five for eight from three-point land. The ball coming up on five and a half to play here in the first half. Nice pass to Vladi Ivats, and he's fouled from behind. He'll go to the line. He missed out last year. Perkins to Askew. Even walked out on a practice. So this is a guy that's got to remember who Vincent Askew really is. Cedric Sabalos with another jump shot. Quarter. Devox. And that will be a travel violation against Devox. Not a bad move by Vlade. Vladi worked real hard to get that one, but shuffles his feet. You'll see Divac right here, former teammate Perkins, keeping him away from his best move, the hook across the middle, and he shuffles his feet. From the Lakers. Van Exel had it stripped from behind, foul from behind by Gary Payton, who disagrees. And Payton with the basketball now across the lane, puts it up, no, tap, no good. Scramble for the basketball. Jump ball. We're going to have about eight guys involved in this jump ball. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they have shown us this this afternoon. Sabalos. Got it. Cedric Sabalos. Kendall Gill. Time running down. That left Shrem for three. Got it and drew the foul. in the half and Shrimp gets his four point play 43-36 full court pressure Lynch throws it up at the buzzer and it's way short Seattle was looking at a huge drought coming down the stretch Detlef Shrimp wraps it up with a four point play and at the break the Lakers lead it 43-36 to coming up Bob Costas and company in the studio NBA Showtime will take it away right after this. Offense. Shrimp for three. Detlef Shrimp shot 51.4% from behind the three-point line during the regular season. Deep shooting by Detlef Shrimp. Going one-on-one -on -one now. Divac reached in, made the steal. Shrimp had to commit the foul. The foul against Anthony Peeler. Shrimp for three. Detlef Shrimp hit a three-pointer with less than three seconds to play in the first half. Basic tenet of the game. Identify where the shooter is and don't leave him alone. And there is a foul as Eldon Campbell takes it hard to the basket. Then Campbell, who had a great start. Campbell, got it. Eldon Campbell. 
Sabalos for three. Cedric Sabalos with another three pointer. Sabalos taking it to Shrimp. Bowie. Kemp took it away. Johnson. And the Lakers come right back in a hurry. Uh, Kemp is always looking to help out, and Sam Bowie re really never realized where Kemp was. And then at the other end, Irvin Johnson beat everyone down the floor, gets his first hoop of the ball game over Van Exel. You look at Peyton, I mean, defense has been his strength, and he's the guy that energizes uh, the Sonic defense. But Van Exel, Nick the Quick, got by. That's a terrific basket by Van Exel. Peyton, Van Exel got a hand on it. Peyton to the left hand, overshoots. Lakers 53, Sonics 52, and a technical foul on Sean Kemp. Well, you'll see the look. Now, Kemp goes up strong, and he turns around and gives a stare down, but that's not much. Pretty cheap. And, and Kemp is surprised. That's why he's got his hand behind his back and he's trying to talk to Mike Mathis. And he says, I know Tondi. I know Tondi. I'm about to taunt you. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Jones on the move. Nice shot by Jones. Yeah, backing up, but uh, he hasn't been able to dial in yet. They're going to give him another chance. Play here in the third. Dibot spins on his man and scores. Nice quick spin, surprise Sam Perkins. Dibot doesn't go baseline very often. Kemp. Kemp, taken down by Bowie. That's five on Bowie. You're going to get a flagrant foul on Sam Bowie trying to come over the top. Now, he made a play on the ball and got the ball. Dell Harris was standing thumbs up, and they call a flagrant two. Right at the end, he pulled them back, and that's what got the flagrant foul, and Kemp up in his face. They had the double foul last trip down the floor and bumped shoulders a little bit as they waited for the next play to develop in this game. Three and a half to play in the third. Peyton. Divas gets the lead right back for the Lakers. Shrimp back outside for Perkins. Peyton for three. Tied at 62. 2.20 to play here in the third. Perkins for three. Divac across the court. Lynch fouled underneath. Push him off the box, and they stay out on the perimeter against the clock. Kemp with the turnaround. Peeler for three. Got it. Anthony Peeler ties the game at 67. He needed that. He's been struggling. Kemp fouled by Lynch, who complained that there was no call. Peyton on the follow -up. Oh, what a shot by Gary Peyton. Now Peyton wanted that one all the way. Sonics by four as we come up on the last 10 seconds of the quarter. On the drive, Van Exel gets it to fall. And the steal, Van Exel puts it up out of the corner. It's short. Kendall Gill at the buzzer. What a comeback by the Seattle Supersonics. Vlade Divac and Sean Kemp trying to show the way for their team. It's the Sonics by two. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. You're watching the NBA on NBC. 
people on that camera, don't we? We know how to find him. Campbell, is, Campbell inside. He is back, and he has not missed when he has been in the ball game before. Shot clock at five. Van Exel out of the corner. Oh, what a shot by Nick Van Exel. Well, that's a Van Exel special. Why is Van Exel such a cocky guy? Because I can make these shots. Nobody else makes those shots. D box. Up ahead to Van Exel. Two on one. He takes it right at his man, and it's an offensive foul. Detlef Schrempf stood his ground, took the charge, and will come the other way. Shot clock at five. Healer making Anthony Healer with another three, and it's a five-point Laker lead. Shot clock winding down. Shrimp has to put it up, and Campbell got a hand on it, and that's a shot clock violation. Good defense from Eldon Campbell. Kevin, so they're keeping the ball out of Peyton's hand down on the bottom. Shrimp finally gets a shot away. No, tapped up and in by Nate McMillan. Sam Perkins draws his second. Sabalos going to put it up and hit. Cedric Sabalos. Eddie Jones back outside. Sabalos got it. Third three pointer of the afternoon for Cedric Sabalos. With 33 more victories during the regular season. A good play by the Lakers, even though Sam Perkins made a nice defensive reaction. They went into the post and reestablished it. Seattle trails 81 73. Kemp. Tied up? No. Foul by Divac. A power surge. Now this is what George Carl needed. He needed something to break the momentum. Now this is really home court advantage. <laughs> you can't have a better timing than this. Now you get a break. The lights are down here at the Tacoma Dome. Again, Seattle in the middle of another cold streak. A 24-minute delay comes to an end right now. Perkins. Kemp had it and lost it, but McMillan recovers. Perkins on the move. And now the Lakers have to look to someone. Here's a steal. Mismatch here, Sprint against. Followed by Van Exel. Van Exel, every play since the outing has gone in favor of the Sun. Sprint against Eddie Jones. Two minutes remaining in the quarter, two minutes. There's a takeaway, Eddie Jones. Jones didn't get it. 20 to play. Sabalos for three. Big shot by Cedric Sabalos. 25 points for Cedric Sabalos. He come up on 65 seconds remaining in regulation. Perkins for three. Perkins has 11, 84, 82, one minute to play. Can't take it. He's going for a walk. Magic <laughs> knows this is the biggest possession of the ball game as they come inside to Elvin Campbell. Campbell, short. <laughs> 40 seconds. Shrimp for three. And Perkins may have gotten away with it over the back. Well, the, the Sonics can get the ball back. Uh, difference between shot clock game clock is about 11 seconds, so they got to play good defense. Make the Lakers take a tough shot, rebound the basketball. Sabalos taken away by McMillan. to play. Sonics got to give themselves two chances to tie the ball game up. They cannot fool around with the shot and game clock going down like crazy. Long range. Off the mark. And it's over. It is over. The Lakers have tied the series in a game apiece. Cedric, you're a performance
achievements in this team just epitomize the tenacity of the Lakers, not just coming back from that devastating defeat in game one, but coming back after the momentum was in your favor and the lights went out. What happened in the interim there? Well, that was kind of tough for us, but uh, we got uh, warmed up within the first minute of that four-minute period of playing, and after that, we got things going a little bit. Uh, Sons missed some shots. We canned some. I knocked down a three, so we, we just, our momentum just kept going with it. You came back. You came up with some huge shots after the lights went out. Now, I know you were sick in the game, in the third quarter, you left the game. Did that interim period help you? Well, it did help me a lot, but I really wasn't worried about the illness. Uh, yesterday, I called my big brother and, and, and asked him, what should I do? He, you know, he just said, just keep playing, keep digging in there, play hard as you can, and it worked tonight. This is such an emotional win for you. How devastating do you think it could be for the Sonics who are facing such pressure to get out of this first round? Well, it's tough, and I think uh, we took care of business here in Seattle. We have to go home and do the same. All right, Cedric, uh, good luck. Thanks. All right, Greg. All right, Hannah, once again, our final score, the Lakers 84 and the Seattle Supersonics 82.